Hey, Regina. Hmm? Oh, can I talk to you for a minute? Okay, but if I get a call from Jordan, you gotta go. <laughs> hey, look, Regina, you know, I've been thinking about my life, and uh, hell, I don't know. I guess since I'm turning 40, I just started to realize that I've fallen short of so many things I had expected of myself. Steve, what you're describing is classic midlife crisis. You know, maybe a support group would help. What? A support group? Midlife crisis? What you talking about? That's a white folk problem. <laughs> you talking to Steve Hightower. I'm very, very comfortable with who I am. <laughs> Chicken head and some booty cutters, and you good? <laughs> oh, kids, don't encourage Mr. Hightower. Get off the bike, Fonzie. <laughs> no, nah, Sam. I've decided, man, that I'm gonna turn 40 doing 90 on the 10. I'm gonna go see America, man. Yeah. I'm gonna write me some songs, love me some women. <laughs> so that's it, y'all. Hasta la vista. <laughs> Here's to a new life. <laughs> wrapped my pension around a tree and took mouth to mouth from a chain-smoking cafeteria lady. How you think I feel? Hold up, dog. You just turned 40. That's a milestone. We should be celebrating. Let's have a party. Nah. I think I'll just go on down to the nasty kitty. Come on, Steve. Then what about a little get-together, then? We'll have all your favorites, ribs, yams, cobbler, and to show you how much I care, I won't cook a thing. Well, I guess a party would be nice. All right. <laughs> there you talking, baby. Thank <laughs> you, then coming right up. Stop! <laughs> 